Hello golfers, it's John Dunning at the Carside Coaching. If it's fixed, break it. What on earth am I talking about? Well, I guess it's an alarming title, but what I'm talking about is this. The instant that I get somebody doing really well, they're controlling the golf ball, and I kind of set the challenge at an appropriate level for them, and it's looking really good. My next job is to see if I can break down that skill by not changing you know, what they're doing with the golf club necessarily, by not changing, uh, go, okay, now I'm gonna mess you up. But I could try to distract them. I could try to say, to talk to them as they're setting up to the go, okay, okay, you got water left, okay, don't go left, don't go left. Where I'm trying to get them to draw their attention despite distraction, which is inevitably coming. I might start to, let's say we're trying to hit this green at 125 yards. I might go, okay, wait, sorry, I misunderestimated you. Half the green. They pass that, whoops, okay. If you're having an 80% success rate, like you've got eight out of 10 golf balls, I'm gonna make it tougher. We might take that, take that green and make it quadrants. Okay, I might go, okay, you can't go left, you can't go right, whatever, can't go short, and we do testing. I might go, okay, now, hit a drive to that fairway, hit that green, hit a drive to that fairway over there. We have trees and I put posts out of the driving range to simulate fairways, and we use those all the time. So we have people kind of running around with portable skills to go in between clubs. Okay, hold on. You're behind this tree, hit it under the tree, curve it left, get it on that green. Hit it all the way around the left-hand side of the drive range where there's a little opening in the range over here behind the trees. You hit it in the tree off the tee, curve it around there. Jump in here, get off the rough. Jump in here, the ball's above your feet, get off the rough. I'll take them on the other side of the range and I'll start really upping the challenge to make it more, and don't forget this, golf course appropriate. Now, no, I'm not trying to break them down. I'm trying to see where their skills do break down so that I can coach them through developing even higher level of skill. So it goes back to the fact that most people would rather have a wonderful, warm, fuzzy feeling in their practice session than actually get better. It's not cool. So, when you're practicing, if you're having a ton of success, you might not be practicing correctly. Push yourself. That's the secret to reaching ever higher levels of skill. Think about that. My friend, uh, one of the most important people in the world to me and made all the difference in my career is Dr. Rick Jensen. He has a saying, if you're grooving, get moving. So once you're getting in the groove, you gotta get moving. Start upping the challenge. And really, your challenge can be infinite. So say you're doing a circle drill in putting. You're doing the clock, all right? And I have, uh, let's see, do the four foot clock. No problem. Well, that's fine, okay, except it is all four footers. Second, it is all four footers on the same slope. So if I do that clock drill, 12 balls at four feet, I have to at least move holes the next time I do it. Let's say that my goal was to hit uh, 11 out of 12, which would be lovely. If I don't do it, I don't reset the balls in that hole. I've gotta go find a different slope. Have to read the putt every single time. It's amazing how I can't get people to do that. But remember, part of the problem in putting is reading the damn green. So if you don't practice reading the green, what have you then? 
might make it even harder. I might say, okay, we'll do this drill I call subtraction. I might have that same clock, but I'll make it eight ball so I have some room to get the ball in. You'll see this, it's all on the website. Go to take a distance putt from 20 to 60 feet. Try to roll it inside to the circle. Take that ball out and then putt one of the four footers. Then throw the ball you made away. Give me a different distance putt. And you don't get to hit one of the circle balls if you don't get the approach putt in the good zone. You'll see it's called subtraction. It's so simple to design your practice for increased improvement. Now it's not day to day. I was just laughing at this with my friend, Dr. Will Wu. Uh, I love that man, motor learning doctor, Cal State Fullerton, uh, Long Beach. Anyway, we're talking about this idea of, well, but, but she played bad the next day. Does that mean she hasn't learned? No. There's some inherent variability with the game of golf. But over time, you should see you know, I try to track your progress on a monthly basis, not daily. That's, I think <laughs> worrying about daily is really a nightmare. And last thing I'll say about this subject is be careful of putting out fires. Meaning, I'm not putting well. Your entire practice is on putting. Faithfully do your work in all aspects of the game, each practice session. Just do it that way maybe a little bit more time on the putting, but you can't stop practicing everything else because these little motor skills are super fine and they are very quickly lost or misplaced, I should say. So they need that kind of constant maintenance. Okay? Done again out.